felt like my whole life I was trying to find myself and where I fit into this world. My grandfather always thought my last name was powerful. White Bear, that's a strong last name. You put that last name on something. I felt like he almost knew. It was just kind of like an idea in the back of my head. And my boyfriend at the time said he wanted a pair of hunting moccasins. So I made the first pair and I was proud of them. And so when he received them, he took them off and then he put on his cheap Walmart slippers. It was so heartbreaking. I wanna make the best pair of moccasins ever. So instead of drowning in my tears, letting somebody have this much control over your emotions, I let moccasin making do it instead. I am Shauna White Bear from the Arikara Hidatsa Nation. I'm a self-taught moccasin maker, owner of White Bear Moccasins. I wanted to make a moccasin for everybody. It became an obsession. There's so much meaning, moccasins, to the Plains people. I think you feel more connected with your surroundings. I think it's the closest thing to something natural you can have on your feet. It's a trade, and it's a style that was taken almost away from me and my people. We are the original native makers, and now I'm wanting to take it back. I want it to bring people together. It makes me feel closer to my heritage. Bozeman has been a great support system. When I moved here, I just felt a little bit more free. In this town helped build my business by uplifting me personally. Montana's life is a little bit slower, and I think that everybody that visits can feel that. Waking up every day is easy. Sometimes I'll be like, I make shoes for a living. Do everything with love and true passion. True authentic passion. It's an incredible feeling. <laughs>